Air superiority has been a defining factor in determining between the utmost victory and certain defeat, where it has defined modern warfare as we know it today. From the initial stages of establishing air dominance with 5th generation fighters like the F-22 Raptor, to supporting infantry and eliminating surface based targets with the A-10 and A-64 Apache. But what happens when you define air superiority in kaiju form? You engage air to air, engage in air to surface, and isn't afraid to boast your presence onto men and kaiju alike. You get Rodan over here. Rodan here is from Godzilla Kill the Monsters and acts as blah blah blah. We all know what Rodan is at this point. If you don't, let's just say he tried to act like Andrew Tate but realized he was Boogie 298A. Look at the skull, it's obvious that it resembles that of your pterodon design as portrayed through the beak, great for chomping, serrating, and swallowing unfortunate victims, but a terrible armament against giga chads like the big G. But maybe a big downside regarding the skull are the eyes as they seem to have gotten the lower end of the paint job, and a far cry from the likes of the big G and monkey. Moving down to the torso. What you see is what you get as Rodan here is more or less a skinny boy making people in North Korea seem fat. Wait. But credit where credit's due, the paint job is fantastic and far better than the one seen on NECA's iteration as shown through the red base color scheme but imbued with the molten lava veins flowing through its body. The legs are also decently sculpted but I expected bigger talons on the feet and a screen accurate tail with its triangular shape in order to keep the bed on balance during flight and better than the hell this was found on NECA. But maybe the most important component in Rodan's arsenal are the wings in which they comprise most of Rodan's body and aids in Rodan to engage in both dogfights and surface to air targets through a windstorm. And look at the wings, just like the body, are beautifully sculpted with the red skin color and lava veins which are organically blended alongside the fact that the molten lines as seen in the films are also intricately imbued onto the tip of the wings, making for the most screen accurate figure of Rodan I've laid my hands on. When observing what Rodan is accompanied by, this is it. Look at the stand, unlike the useless one accompanied by Mafra, the version actually fulfills this role as the grip can easily hold Rodan's bulk and have three separate points of motion, allowing the stand to fulfill Rodan's various aerial maneuvers. When observing Rodan's build, while the Titan height-wise may be more or less a midget, considering the length from one wingspan to the other, our Raptor here is a chunky boy and dwarfs most beings. As for Dan, scale-wise, it is 40 centimeters or 15.75 inches long. Here's Rodan next to Gunpla, Hyatoys, SH Figots, Figma, the Hyatoys Mothra, and SH Monstars Iris Flight Mode. When discussing range, Rodan, body-wise, is your run-the-mill figure, considering its physique, but way better than the NECA variant. The heck can move freely, left and right, up and down. The jaw can open and shut. The torso can bend from the abdomen as they are a separate piece connected by a ball joint. The legs can split like a virgin. The knees have a decent range and the tail connected by a ball joint also moves. Now let's not forget about the wings as this time around, rather than being connected through a particular joint, all connected through a bendy wire with the skin being composed of soft, toy-like plastic, allowing to move in extreme and diverse poses that were impossible to reproduce through previous joints, accurately depicting how Rodan was able to conduct dogfights in the film. So, to sum up, the best articulation regarding a being with wings I've laid my hands on. So, that'll be the last thing to add. Hyatt Toys iteration of Rodan is another Another fantastic addition to their kaiju roster as they have succeeded in replicating the likeness of Rodan in the film into figure form. This is alongside the impressive range of movement and a solid stand which is more than I can ask from a certain aerial kaiju. The only gripe I have is the lackluster paint on the eyes that considering the other parts is a big miss. But even so, this is a great figure and I would highly recommend the figure to fellow collectors. In doing so, I'm going to give the Hyatt Toys Rodan Damn, a ranking of an A.